three. Live from the Great Smoky Mountains of Tennessee, it's the Clint Miller Show, starring Clint Miller, with Clint's special guest, country singing legend, Billy Walker. And now, here's Clint. Come under me, all ye that labor, and I'm heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come unto me, all ye that labor, and I'm heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And I will give you rest. Woo! Hello there, and welcome to the Clint Miller Show. From the heart of the Smoky Mountains, right down here in Pigeon Forge. If you've never been here, you ought to come. We love it here. God bless you. We got a great show for you tonight. The legend, Billy Walker, is here. You're not going to believe the songs. The, uh, we're going to talk to Billy. We're going to spend some time with the legend, Billy Walker. But right now, we're going to take a break and be right back. Cody, take us out. <laughs> And as I promised you, country singing legend, Billy Walker. There's a little song called, I wouldn't miss heaven for the world. Oh, I wouldn't miss heaven for the world. No, I wouldn't miss heaven for the world. I won't let no sin to keep me from getting dead. I wouldn't miss heaven for the world As I walk through this valley of temptation I'll keep my eyes looking straight ahead My Bible is my roadmap for direction I won't get lost because I'm being led I'll call ahead and make my reservations Tonight when I get down on my knees Nothing here on earth could ever be worth What I have waiting there for me And I wouldn't miss heaven for the world No, I wouldn't miss heaven for the world I won't let no sin to keep me from getting in I wouldn't miss heaven for the world Some people sell their soul for worldly pleasures And they don't feed the spirit, just the flesh Never knowing that they're really going nowhere Never giving, only living on the edge Building up material treasures Letting down the one who really cares When all that they have is a drop in the bucket Compared to what I've got waiting there Oh, I wouldn't miss heaven for the world No, I wouldn't miss heaven for the world I won't let no sin to keep me from getting in I wouldn't miss heaven for the world yeah. I wouldn't miss heaven for the world Oh, I wouldn't miss heaven for the world I won't let no sin to keep me from getting in I wouldn't miss heaven for the world I wouldn't miss heaven for the world Here's a song that tells the story of my life, and I hope you get enjoyment out of it. Sometimes I walk through the valley of shadows. My feet get weary and worn 
At times I am faced with a wilderness feeling With pain I weather the storm Thank God I don't have to stay in the valley with joy he takes hold of my hand and lifts me up to be in his presence and I'm back on the mountain again I'm back on top of the mountain Called up in the glory with Him Delivered from past tribulation I'm back on the mountain again at the age of 15 I gave my heart to Jesus or at least I thought I did only to be told by my father boy that guitar will send you straight to hell still I set out to fulfill my dreams of being a country music star and lift God out of my life for a lot of years through much pain and heartache I surrendered my whole heart to Jesus and he's lifted me as high as any man can be as I look at the ones who have gone on before me like me they'd go through it again For His love never fails When you're down in the valley He'll put you back on the mountain again I'm back on top of the mountain Caught up in the glory Delivered from past tribulation I am back on the mountain again Delivered from past tribulation I'm back on the mountain, back on the mountain, I'm back on the mountain again. If we can get the host of this show back out here, I'd like to sing a song with him. I hope you folks out there will join me in singing this song too. Clint Miller, let's do a little song here. I love you. Thank you, Clint. Now let's see how good we can do together. Okay. What an honor to be singing with you. Well, thank you. This is called Where Could I Go But To The Lord. Come on, band. Hit them up there. Living below in this old sinful world Hardly a comfort can afford Striving alone To face temptation sore Where could I go but to the Lord? You sing with me now Where could I go? Oh, where could I go? Seeking a refuge for my soul Needing a friend 
to help me in the end where could I go but to the Lord come on Cody play one now sing one Cliff life here is grand uh -huh. with friends I love so dear Comfort I get from God's own word. Yes. But when I face that chilling hand of death, where could I go but to the Lord? What do you think, Billy? Where could I go? Oh, where could I go? Seeking a refuge for my soul Needing a friend to help me in the end Where could I go but to the Lord? Where could I go? Oh, where could I go? Seeking a refuge for my soul yeah. Needing a friend To help me in the end Where could I go But to the Lord Where could I go But to the Lord I got the thing with Billy Walker <laughs> Hey, that was great Billy, let's get this zip tie down. Go have a seat at the kitchen table and have a talk. Okay. We'll be right back. I'm here with the legend Billy Walker, the tall Texan. Listen to this. 32 top 10 hits, over 100 chart records, numerous number one hits, songs like Charlie's Shoes, Cross the Brazos at Waco, Word games, when a man loves a woman. Uh, listen to this. Funny how time slips away was certified by BMI for one for over a million airplays. This is heavy duty stuff. Listen to this. Billboard magazine has Billy Walker listed as one of the top twenty most played artists over the last twenty years. His million selling record, Charlie's Shoes was selected as one of the all-time top 100 Billboard songs. Big stuff. In 1960, Ernest Tubb introduced Billy Walker as the newest member of the Grand Old Opry. Um, I grew up on Billy Walker. I love Billy Walker, and he's with us. Uh, he's here with us right now. Uh, Billy, welcome. Thank you, Clint. Good to see you. I almost feel important, Clint. <laughs> Gee, thank you. I'm glad your wife is here to hear this introduction. She yep. found out how important you are. Betty really uh, uh, has a great hand in putting all that together, well, and I'm very thankful for her. You know, when you deal with facts, you're just one of the, you're, you're, uh, there's just so much to cover. Billy Walker, uh, you're bigger than life, and I'm so honored to know you. I, I got to tell you, I'm kind of just a little intimidated just sitting here even interviewing you. You well, overwhelm please, me. Well, please don't be that, because I, I don't want you to be. <laughs> I'm, just a, I'm just a guy that sings a country song that the Lord saved, and I'm real thankful for that. It's good to be saved, isn't it? Yes, it is. How'd you get started in the business? Well, I saw a Gene Autry movie when I was 13 years old called Public Cowboy Number One. And uh, <laughs> I, uh, I said, I can do what that guy is doing on the screen. Yeah. So I picked turkeys that fall uh, over in Clovis, New Mexico, and bought me an old $6.25 guitar with a 15-cent instruction book and taught myself how to play. And by the time I was 15, I Holy. was on radio professionally, and by the time I was 20, I had my uh, first record contract with Capitol Records. When I was 23, I had a, my first nationwide hit on Columbia Records, and I've been at it ever since. Tell us about your first radio job. Well, it was in KICA in Clovis, New Mexico, which is a real biggie, <laughs> but it's some place to start. I knew I was on my way. I didn't know how long the way was going to be, but I knew I was on my way. Well, I heard something about uh, it being a, a, a kind of an ex a job or a hike for you getting there. 
Well, yeah, I used to, uh, b by the time I, I was 15, we was living over in Whiteface, Texas. And Whiteface was 80 miles from Clovis, New Mexico. And I used to hitchhike every weekend over there and do my free radio program. So Sometimes I didn't make it home. How far was it? 80 miles. It, you used to hitchhike 80 miles at the age of 15 to be on the radio, yeah. and you weren't getting paid. That's right. Now that's one. That's well. That's a dream. That's a you dream. know, you got to start somewhere in a dream. Right. Well, there's no vision. The people perish. That's right. Tell us about your childhood. Well, uh, my mother died when I was four years old. By the time I was almost six, my dad put me and two of my brothers in a Methodist orphan's home in Waco, Texas, and I stayed there till I was about eleven. My father remarried again. And he married a woman with four children. There was eight in our original family. They had one together, so there was 13 in all. So oh, wow. I was kind of about halfway down the line. And uh, I just uh, learned to fence for myself. And I knew that when I got out of that orphanage, if I was ever going to accomplish anything, I had to do it myself. So you were sent to a, an orphanage. How old were you? Almost six years about old. About six years old. And uh, you did... And and your and two of your brothers went. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You were six, and your brothers were older than you. Yeah. One brother was fourteen months older than me, and another brother was about uh, two and a half years and it older was a, than me. It was a religious orphanage. Yeah. Home? Mm -hmm. It was the Methodist orphans' home in Waco, Texas. But your but your dad was alive. <clears throat> yeah, my dad uh, remarried again. You know, and but uh, what they just couldn't afford to feed you. Well, at or that what? particular time, we were going through a lot of hard times out in West Texas. And so uh, he had to have some help, and so they helped him. Uh, back at six years old at an orphanage home, good or bad memories? Well, uh, very few good ones, a whole lot of bad ones. But <clears throat> that's the way, you know, things are. The tough times you go through make you the man you are, isn't that right? Uh, absolutely. A little boy, six, seven, eight years old, going to bed at night with no comfort of a mom yeah. or dad. Yeah. Tough stuff. Yeah. It, that'll give you a tear in your eye when you sing one of those sad songs, isn't that right? <laughs> well, yeah, that's right. So you go on, you, you sign, you, your dream comes true, you sign with Columbia. You meet some wonderful people on the way, and we're going to bring some, uh, uh, some names up on the screen. You brought some photos with you today that yeah. we're going to be flashing. Tell us a little bit about these people. Well, uh, as I said, Gene Autry was my idol. Right. Uh, I work with <coughs> Roy Rogers. And, right. And I have a picture of me and Roy uh, taken a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, a picture of me and Jim Reeves. Jim Reeves was... Uh, uh, we worked together on the Louisiana Hayride and at the Grand Ole Opry and just many, many other uh, country artists. I was Hank Williams' opening act, the very last tour ever made. Uh, I worked a lot of shows with Johnny Cash, uh, Reba McIntyre, anybody you can think of, you we worked together. You mentioned Hank Williams. Uh, the last tour, did you guys, um, what did you guys talk about as the last tour? Well, we talked a lot about his life. He knew that he was messed up. He wanted to get straight again. And uh, from all I can recollect, that uh, he had some place he was going to go to try to get off of drugs. And, uh, Do you think he was saved? I, I don't really know. I, I just can't. Uh, only God knows, man. All right. You know, only the Lord knows. Right. You know, he, he, read, he, read, he wrote a lot of great gospel songs. Yeah. So I know the Lord had to touch his heart somewhere along the way. Well... <laughs> But uh, you, you had intimate moments. Some of uh, Hank Williams' last intimate moments were spent with Billy Walker. Yeah, we, uh, he rode with me for about 10 days in my car. And we talked a lot about his life. We talked a lot about uh, things that we were planning to do. I, I had planned on coming to the Grand Ole Opry with him uh, that February. But, of course, he passed away. And, of course, it took me another uh, eight years to get there. Wow. Uh, so it was eight years after that for you in the Grand Old Opry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen, Billy, we got more to come right now. We're just going to take a little break and pay some bills, and we'll be right back. Okay. okay? Good. We're here with country singing legend Billy Walker. Uh, Billy, so you were on, uh, you spent the last 10 days with, uh, with Hank Williams. Mm -hmm. You were instrumental. Uh, uh, you're just such a key figure. Um, tell us about Elvis Presley. You worked with him. Well, yeah, he did his first show with me and Slim Whitman at the Overton Bandshell in Memphis in uh, August of 54. I knew I had something different, and we laughed about it a couple of years before his death, but I went back to the Louisiana Hayride and uh, made that old boy that ran the Hayride give Elvis a call because I wanted to see him uh, give him a shot on the Hayride, and which he did. And So you helped he went over Elvis Presley on the Louisiana Hayride? Yeah, and he went out on tour with me in early 55, and... When he turned 20 years old, we were playing in San Angelo, Texas. 
And so, yeah, I uh, was instrumental in this uh, early career. The, uh, I, I heard something about you gave him a, his 20th birthday party? Uh, well, no, I, I was his hostess cupcake with a candle. <laughs> that was the birthday party. We couldn't afford Well, we was traveling. We were uh, we was playing a lot of days. So we just got in to San Angelo a uh, oh, couple hours before the show and, and set up and was going to do the show, and I brought him a little cupcake out with a candle in it. Wow. Hawkshaw Hawkins. Yeah, he was a he was a dear friend of mine. In fact, uh, uh, about uh, in, in a uh, radio interview, we had a midnight press party uh, at the uh, Townhouse uh, Hotel in uh, Kansas City after that show in Kansas City, and uh, I had some bad news about I need to get back to Nashville as quickly as possible. And going down the elevator, Hawk uh, pulled out his airline ticket and he said, "Here, kid, you be Hawkshaw Hawkins on the six o'clock plane in the morning." I'm going to take your place on that private plane. And so he did, and he lost his life. Wow. So if you wouldn't have traded tickets with Hawkshaw Hawkins, you would have been on that fatal crash. Yeah, mm, yeah Which, that's true. Who went down in that crash? Well, Patsy Klein, Hawkshaw Hawkins, and Cowboy Copas. Right. And Randy Hughes. But were it not for the grace of God. And yeah. now, you're saved. Your name's in the book of life. How'd you get saved? Hallelujah. Well, I'll tell you what. I, when I was 15, as I said in one of my songs, I thought I got saved. But I couldn't quite live the life that I wanted to live. Uh, but in 1975, the Lord began to work on my heart. And uh, playing a, a, a state fair in Illinois, Springfield, Illinois, God filled me with the Holy Spirit. Uh, at 8 o'clock uh, on a Saturday morning while I was there playing the fair, God always brings somebody to you to testify of himself. And, uh, man, it's the greatest encounter that I've ever had in my life. It's the greatest show date I ever had in my life. It's the greatest experience I ever had in my and life. You received Jesus Christ yes, as your Savior. Yes, absolutely. Into your heart, Billy Walker, we got to go. Thanks. Will you come back and do it again? I'll do that. Thanks. I love you. Praise the Same Lord here. Jesus Christ. Cody, take us out. Really?